This recording shows you how to use the workbench to debug and profile Grid Mathematica. First we start with a project with a notebook and some Mathematica code. We can see the Mathematica code here. We launch the project via the notebook in a debug session. The project is initialized in the typical way of the workbench. Now we load the parallel toolkit and launch a couple of worker kernels. This is typical for the parallel tools. The workbench makes a connection to each of the worker kernels and it uses this to manage breakpoints etc. Also the worker kernels in this example um, are local to the one computer but they could also be on some remote computer. Now let's look at some debugging. First we push function definitions to the workers and then we do a remote evaluate of the functions and we get the answer returned. We come up here and set a breakpoint. So now when we do the remote evaluate we hit the breakpoint and we can see the execution stack on each of the um, workers. Execution stack, local variables etc. That's all, all pretty useful. So let's, let's, let's continue. Now over here if I look I've also got a message breakpoint set and so this demonstrates that I can do other types of uh, breakpoints. So for example, I'm going to do remote evaluate of something that generates a message on one of the um, workers and we hit the breakpoint there. So that's, that's pretty handy. It's a way of if you're generating messages, you can find out why you generated the message for each individual, um, each individual worker. Now, if you want to try and tune your code to learn how it's running to make it run faster and use um, Grid Mathematica more effectively, you might want to try the profiler. A profile gives you a picture of how your code works. It tells you how often parts of the code are reached and how much time it takes. So, to run the profiler, you execute your command inside a parallel profile um, function. So we do that and it runs and it generates a report that I'm going to sort of resize so we can see the report and there's the um, report we've got there. So in the report we see a section for each of the workers as well as the number of times each um, expression was evaluated along with um, the amount of time, total time they took, as well as um, a hyperlink to the actual functions. And so you can use this for finding the actual lines of code. So that's, that's pretty useful and um, can help you to tune your code. So I hope that was useful. Thank you.